Hey, I'm Ben Morris from the AMP team, live here in Amsterdam at AMPConf 2018. We've seen talks today from a wide variety of people using AMP for a whole bunch of different applications. Let's see some highlights. And in the last year or so, we've seen that sites everywhere have seen great success with AMP. Sites across verticals and across the world have been able to boost their revenue by using AMP. This is just numbers based on double-click ad exchange and AdSense. And we're seeing an increase of 318% in terms of impressions and 3x increase in ad revenue. With AMP, we have to talk about like, what should we actually AMP? And to do that, there are a couple of challenges that we needed to figure out about which pages we should consider. left with the question, to AMP or not to AMP? Reddit has been growing, which makes Google SEO and especially AMP very, very important for us. We wanted to reap all the benefits uh, that AMP had to offer, uh, but we wanted to ensure that our tracking remained accurate and insightful. Maybe you are one of our ecosystem providers and you do ads, analytics, or uh, you produce embeddable content. You want to make sure your products are AMP enabled. Well, it's really easy to do that too. I do love fast pages and when AMP came up, I thought, okay, let's just try this for e-commerce, see where we are going. You start your journey and think, okay, where, where is, should I start with AMP? Hopefully it's time to maximize your own results. And that's a wrap from here in AmpConf 2018, right here in Amsterdam. If you missed any of the talks, you can still find those in the AmpConf playlist right here on the AmpYouTube channel.